Over the years, the Yazidi community in Lincoln has grown to about 3,000 people, making it the largest population of Yazidis in the United States. The struggles of the Yazidis are illustrated in a new exhibit that's currently on display at the Nebraska History Museum in downtown Lincoln. Our Lance Schwartz has the story. The Yazidis are a Kurdish religious minority that's largely from northern Iraq. And what we carried, Lincoln, is a collaborative photographic storytelling project that went on display in late January. The Yazidis have been under attack for a thousand years. Since 2014, ISIS has captured and killed thousands of Yazidis. There's been several genocides, and then the 2014 genocide is when I became aware of the Yazidis. Photographer Jim Lamison of Portland, Oregon, is the man who began this project in the early months of 2017, when he was participating in an exhibit on war at the Sheldon Museum of Art. Jim interviewed a Yazidi immigrant that was living in Lincoln. And she said, you know, I thank America for, for removing Saddam Hussein but did you have to destroy my entire country to do it? This exhibit highlights the Yazidi immigration to Nebraska with a focus on the items they brought with them when they fled from Iraq because of religious persecution. When I photograph the things that people bring with them to America, um, I'm conscious of the fact that um, people have to leave under duress and they can only take a few things and they choose the things that are the most important that they can carry with them. Each one of these photographs represents something of great worth to the Yazidi people that eventually landed in Lincoln. When people choose a family portrait, you know, it's one of the smallest, lightest things that you can carry that reminds you of your family. Um, this is my ticket. Kasim Hamo first traveled from Iraq to the U.S. on July 4th of 2012, and he's kept these plane tickets in his wallet for the past six years to remind him of that life-changing journey. When I got my ticket and that was like, I would, it would be my first ticket to go to United States and start a new, new life and start in school. And Kasim's new life will soon include a degree in biochemistry from UNL. And he says he's very thankful that Lincoln welcomed him in and made him feel at home. At the Nebraska History Museum, I'm Lance Schwartz, 1011 Now. If you'd like to visit the exhibit in person, you still have plenty of time. What We Carry will be on display at the Nebraska History Museum in downtown Lincoln until late May. Still ahead, a double, double overtime thriller in Class B between York